Hello guys and welcome to the Launch Family Adventures. On this channel we will review cheap options that we can do get yourselves outdoors. Okay so guys I am Big Tony and we are going to talk about today uh, a cheap option for taking your kids out during the summer holidays but won't cost you a fortune. We are talking about treasuretrails.co.uk. It's a website where you could actually buy treasure trails in your local area only in the UK. Now there is hundreds of thousands of locations that you can do. Okay, so they are only $6.99 for a treasure trail. Um, $2.99 extra if you want it posted to you in a booklet, in a nice glossy booklet like this. So it'd be good as a gift for the grandparents to buy for your fat for, for the grandkids and okay so let's get dive straight into this and let's talk about what it is and what it's all about okay so this is a Plymouth waterfront where the area I live in it's basically a treasure trail so you're following clues following directions and at the end you find the treasure okay so it's a bit fun for the kids as well as just as the adults so I'm a bit okay, so the treasure trail we are one we've got is this one here um, that is a um, hour and a half long you can take as long or as short as you like stop it when you like stop it start it when you like um, it's, it's about 1.5 miles in total for the whole course um, this one is disabled access and wheelchair access some are some not so you really need to have a look at that guys if um, that is an issue for you guys um, so let's dive into the booklet okay so when you open up your first page and again i will post some pictures up just here okay when you dive into the front first page it tells you really what it's all about um so so you're looking at you're looking at um like a little bit of a history you know the boozy pirate hides his gin we need to find it that type of thing okay and then on the next page it tells you where to start now our starting point was pavilions car park on mill bay road our first direction was to follow the mill bay road around to the coastline which was far so we followed that around and then we found our first clue i'm not going to tell you what the clue is but i will explain it so your first clue is you have to look for something look for an object look for a statue or find something on the floor um depends what you are i mean we, we where we are we have little like compasses and things on the floor where the council put on the floor to make it a little bit more interesting to do different things but you have to look for a particular item um, once you've found that, then you've got to mark it off on your map. This is a map. Again, guys, I'll post it up a bit bigger so you can see it. And then you mark it off, okay? So basically, you go around doing that for how long, how long. If you want to stop off, have a pub lunch, or fish and chips, or a quick sneaky pint and a, and a Coke for the kids, or, you know, or just want to have a picnic. And we made up a picnic, we did. We, we had a picnic up next to the big bright, uh, lighthouse, the overlooking overlooking the bay it's really really nice um, so you want to get a picnic or something you, you can take as long as you like but anyway you mark off these uh, at the very end there there is actually uh, 14 directions you need to follow 21 clues that you need to find and once you found all 21 clues you had you left with that's right your treasure so your beauty um, unfortunately this wasn't gin oh, darn it but anyway um, the kids found it. I didn't. I was still looking, and it's like my kids come on up and like, ah, dad, we found it. No, no, no. You know what they're like. And they're all enthusiastic, and they're like, oh, got beaten by kids again. And I got four of them. It's like, oh, and I had to buy the ice creams as well because we said whoever finds it first, don't pay for ice cream. And of course, they all went off in one big group. And then me and me and the wife looking around at ourselves is like, ah, oh, we gotta buy the ice cream. Darn it. But anyway, once you've found your clue, you go onto their website, you put in your answer, and there's a chance you can actually win a real booty. That's right, there's a chance you can win £100. Wow, well, we put it in, but well, we weren't lucky enough. But it's randomly selected. So, you know, the more you do, the more chances you get, go for it. They'll make good gifts. So, you know, go online. And you don't have to buy it and then send it to them. You can just give them the e-voucher as well. They're, they do e-vouchers. Um, and this is what I'm going to do for you guys. Leave a comment down the bottom 
where you would like to do, what would you do? Would you take a picnic? Would you have a pub lunch? Would you take all day doing it? Give us your ideas and I'm going to pick one lucky winner at random to win one of these booklets, okay? The rating system on this channel and we do it, the adventure compasses. So we have one for, eh, it's okay. To five is like, <laughs> wow, that's amazing. Let's go do that again. Now, unfortunately, my kids are not here. They are um, all doing home education work. So they can't actually be on the channel. But I can tell you, they have rated this a five launches adventure compasses. So that is awesome. Awesome location. This is why we're going to give away one of these three. So when you're on our videos, if it's more than four compasses, we will give away whatever we're reviewing for free. Um, if it's below four, then you guys know, you know, again, it's only our opinions, but my kids are very active and they like fun stuff. But anyway, guys, please subscribe to my channel. Sorry for me rambling on a little bit. Um, but like I said, I am very passionate at what I do. I love my outdoors. Um, I do lots of things. I do lots of bushcraft. I do lots of other things with my kids.